In Hawaii, aloha means love, peace, and compassion. And it's often used as a greeting and to say goodbye. What began in the 1960s, ALA Hawaii Girl State proudly educated young women about the inner workings of government and leadership. Yet, sadly, after 1982, our 50th state said aloha to the program. For 34 years, Hawaii was the only state without an ALA Girl State program. That also meant for 34 years, there was no representation from Hawaii at ALA Girls Nation. But in 2016, the American Legion Auxiliary welcomed back the program, and we happily say once again, Aloha to ALA Aloha Girls State. This is a story of hard work, perseverance, and dedication for the benefit of young women of Hawaii by a group of people who saw a need and did something about it. Surprisingly, the efforts to renew the program began with the application form for the United States Military Academy. On the official admissions form, it asks candidates to check a box if they participated in either American Legion Boys State or ALA Girls State. I met Kiana Stewart when she was a junior in high school and she was interested in attending the United States Military Academy at West Point. And as a mentor to youth here that are applying to the Academy, we wanted to help Kiana become as competitive as possible. And West Point values programs such as the ALA Girls State program. Unfortunately, we didn't have one here in Hawaii. Yet, Kiana wanted to be a part of it, even if it meant traveling to the mainland to do so. She received special permission to attend ALA Oregon Girls State. After Kiana returned from attending her ALA Girls State program in Oregon, she was very excited and myself, actually incidentally a, an alumna of the ALA Girls State program in Maryland, her high school AP government teacher, and the Department of Hawaii president, along with the ALA current director, Brister Thomas, we all decided that we needed to reinstate this program. We knew fundraising was key, and we were fortunate enough to find significant sponsors that allowed us to begin the process. Before her introduction to the group, yet another auxiliary member in Hawaii wanted to bring the program back. Haley Culp attended ALA Missouri Girls State, married her high school sweetheart, and traveled with him to Hawaii as a military spouse. When I found out Hawaii no longer had an ALA Girl State program, I knew I needed to find a way to help make this possible. So I reached out to the American Legion Auxiliary National President at the time, Sharon Canaster, and she connected me with a group of people in Hawaii who were already working to make this program happen. It took a great team, incredible amounts of work, lots of prayer to make this happen. And it wasn't easy. After we secured our initial funding, we started to develop our program. Haley, who was truly a godsend to this program, approached her university to host, and then we were on our way. On the mainland, most people have heard of the prestigious ALA Girl State program. Here in Hawaii, because our program was dormant for over 35 years, most people haven't heard of it, and that's something that we're actively trying to change. And Hawaii has unique logistic challenges. Girls from neighbor islands can't just hop into a car to attend, so there's the added expense of flying them here as well. The process of finding applicants is challenging as well. On the mainland, units sponsor their girls. That's something that we're hoping to once again do here as well. And although there have been expected growing pains, the 2018 program had 22 enthusiastic participants. ALA Aloha Girl State has been such an amazing experience for me. I've learned so much throughout my time here about the government, working with others to achieve goals, and I've met so many great people. Thank you American Legion Auxiliary for providing me and girls like me with this opportunity to learn from inspiring women and help inspire others in our community. The value of attending ALA Aloha Girl State ALA Girls Nation and being a junior member of American Legion Auxiliary um, has just been so rewarding. I've learned strategies to lead in my school, my community, and then how to have my voice heard on a state and even on a national level. And I'm so pleased to be able to give back to this program that has given me so much. 
It is so gratifying to know that the girls in Hawaii once again have the opportunity to attend an ALA Girl State program just like I did in Missouri. And you'll be happy to know Kiana was accepted at West Point and after graduation will be commissioned as a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army. Welcome back, ALA Aloha Girl State. In respect for the history of the program, in 2019, the name will once again be ALA Hawaii Girl State. For more information about ALA Girls State, please visit www.alaforveterans.org forward slash ALA-Girls-State.